back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I am showing you my war binder. Um, I am reading the book War Room and once I finish reading the book I will be watching the movie The War Room and this inspired me to find out how to make a war binder. So I've been watching YouTube and searching and searching and also going on Pinterest and I put together a binder. So I am using a regular size binder. I don't have a small one and everything I was printing out was so huge and a regular size eight and a half by 11 paper. So I wound up using a regular size binder. This is a regular size binder from Staples probably. I had it in my supplies, it was being unused. And so I am, putting all my stuff in here. So I'm going to share with you what I have in here. I got tons of ideas from so many people. If I mention anybody, I will put the links below. Uh, I also have a Pinterest uh, board for Warbinder. I will put that below as well. Uh, and yeah, tons of stuff on Pinterest that I printed out in here. Um, yeah, now I need to start using this thing. So let me share with you what's inside it. Okay, so this is my war binder. I'm going to open it up and share with you my tabs and what I put in here and so forth and so on. It is kind of fit thick and I kind of filled it up already. I already started writing in it. Um, but again, this is um, the beginning. I just started working on it. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping to add more stuff to it as I go along. So when you open it up, the first thing you see is a book that I purchased on from Amazon. I am doing this, the book of Hosh Hoshia, um, and it's from goodmorninggirls.org, um, and um, it starts on April 15th, so I got the book, and that's what I'm going to be um, doing Bible study on. So I joined a goodmorninggirls.org um, Facebook group and I'm going to be Bible studying with them. It's a very short book that I got from Amazon. Uh, so that's the first lesson I'm going to be learning in the month of April. It starts April 15th. So that's that. Okay, so the very first page, um, I printed this out from pdfcalendar.com. Uh, and I put here start a war binder so that's what I wrote there I don't, I don't know if you can see it see it says start a war binder so anyway so I just printed a calendar up and I figured I could jot in here every time I journal and use this book so that's what I stuck as the first page so I also printed up a regular blank calendar and this one I got from Heather Ig Eagle Wriggleman.com and I will put the link to her channel below. Um I will put all the links if I mention anything I'll put the links below. Okay, so I don't have to say it a million times. Okay, so this one I printed this up and this first tab is praise. So my idea is to praise God and say thank you. So that's my first tab and um I don't remember where I got this from, but I think I have it in my Pinterest uh, list. So I will put that below as well. Um, then I printed up the many names of God here. And then my next, my first one is praise. So this is praise again. And I made a godless praise with Psalms. And this is really cool. I got this idea from Carrie Denker and Dawn, uh, where she takes these little things and she moves them around the page. So every day she would start with the first one and then move it down to the second one and move it down to the third one. So she would only do one a day. So that I thought that was a really cool idea. So I started doing that throughout my book. Um, so that's the God list of praise. And then I put the next one is just a plain piece of paper. And then I put a, um, a Bible verse. It's Chronicles 1, 29, 10, 13. And I just put the prayer in here for praising God. 
The next one is repent. So my second chapter is repent. Um, and it says, uh, I put a note here, last 24 hours of sins, not past sins. So in the last 24 hours, I would write something that I uh, want to complain about or um, something I sinned about or I want to fix. So I would put my repents in this chapter here. Uh, here is a prayer. Um, this is Oh My Sawyer Prayer from Disciplines Revival. Um, so that's that. And then I put this in here, reflect on those, on these behaviors. And I got this from Dawn's, um, who is it again? I don't remember which one. I wrote it down. Oh, Carrie Denker and Dawn. So that's where I got this from. The next one is um, a pray. This is my pray section. Now my pray section is divided by many things. So it says, I put a note here. It says one to two minutes per section or, pay, or take 22 minutes um, tops to finish the whole section. So I learned that you can do different things on different days. So uh, weekly prayers, and I put this in here. My weekly prayers would be Monday family, Tuesday friends, uh, Christian friends, Wednesday friends that are Jewish, Thursday will be church leaders, Friday will be government leaders, and um, when I pray for somebody, I will put the name, the date, the prayer, and the answer, uh, and I would check it off if it's answered. So this is just my little notes, uh, so I know what to do. So then I enter into prayer, and this is from Matthew Henry's A Method of Prayer. And then why do I pray? And I printed this up. This I got from PrayBold.org. And then the next, oh, I got this too. I printed this up. I thought this was really cool. This is to pray differently every day about something different. And I don't know. I got this from Kelly Oldiel Del Stanley. Uh, that's what it's written on the bottom. Uh, so anyway, every day. So today is the 8th. Um, can you see the 8th? This is the 8th here. I put this little sticky thing. Okay. So it says pray for someone who emails you. So that's pretty cool. That's somebody different that I wouldn't normally play or pray for. Um, and each day it has something different. So it's really cool. So that was neat. And I stuck that in there. And now here's my different sections. Now the first section is uh, me. Um, ask me. So pray for me. So Monday I would pray for being a wife. Tuesday I would pray for being a mom. Wednesday I would pray for a daughter or a sister. Um, uh, Thursday I would pray for, as a friend and Friday I would pray, uh, pray as a servant, uh, or I have a Monday as, as faith, Tuesday as marriage, Wednesday as besetting sin or gluttony, T Thursday, a steward means, uh, I pick one of these time, money, home, family, body, mind, and Thursday steward. Oh, I did that already. And Friday work. So I just put these as my notes, my reference. So when I get to this section, I know what to pray for. Uh, this is my, I haven't been praying. Like I've been praying like every once in a while. Like, uh, yes, they say pray for me. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll pray for you. And then I don't really pray. So um, this will make me pray. So <laughs> yeah. So this is my reminder. And then in my self section, I put a picture of myself on the top there. This is my 50th birthday photo. So I stuck that in there. And then I have myself and different things I could pray for. Um, and then over here, I wrote some things of how to pray. Um, I don't really know how to pray, except I always pray for like, God give me something, God give me something, God give me something. Uh, I need to pray differently, and this is something where I learned from different people and different ideas. I've been searching and searching. So it says, Lord, I confess blank. Please forgive me and help me blank. 
So um, I will uh, pray for time, money, home, family, body, and mind. Help me steward my thoughts and ideas, my focus. Help me and then write something. Show me and write something and give me, write something and help keep me write something. So this is just my tips of ideas of how to pray. Um, I've been searching online, looking for different things, and hopefully it will help me. The next page is a Dear Guard um, thing I got off of Pinterest. It's a prayer. Um, and then a praying myself. I got all this off of Pinterest. Uh, married woman, praying for a married woman. So I hit the camera thing. Uh, for the ne and then this is um, inspired action prayer calendar for mothers and each day it has something to to um, pray for and I put this little sticky so I know if I start on day eight dot start on day one this is where I would go I would pray that thing and then move it to the next one and pray that thing and move it to the next one so that's how I plan on doing it uh, and I could reuse this over and over again, which is really cool. So I got this from Inspired to Action. My next section is Husband. And I have a photo of my husband and what to pray for him. Uh, Monday, his walk with God. Tuesday, his on our marriage. Wednesday, him or as a father. Thursday, his purity. And Friday, wisdom. So different things, and then this one is different things to pray for. Then I have 31 ways to pray for your husband. 30 days praying for your husband challenge. So 30 days to pray for your husband. Like I just found all these on Pinterest and I, of course I won't do every single one, but if I wanna go to that section and pick one, um, I could do it, start here and then just move it on, you know, and every day these are all for my husband. So the next section is marriage and I already put some things, I wrote some things in here, um, to pray for my marriage. And here is 25 ways to communicate respect to your husband. And the next section is children. And I put a picture of my children. Now I did a children's section and then I did an individual section for each one. Because each one is totally different. They are triplets, but they have totally different personalities. They totally need different things. So um, yeah, so I made their own section. So the first section is children to uh, pray these different things for children. And here is Monday would be faith. Tuesday would be future, future child. Um, Wednesday would be purity. Thursday will be self-discipline. And Friday will be wisdom. So I just put that thing as a reminder of what to do, when to do. It's just a guide for me to keep track of everything. Then 31 days to pray for my kids. And then um, praying daily for your children. Uh, a parent's prayer I stuck in here. I wrote that down on the 7th. So I did start writing in this. Um, God's prayer for children. This is from the Bible. Isaiah 54.10. Children. Different, th different things to... Uh, I wrote these down. So praying for children. Head to toe. 31 days of praying for your children. Our teens need prayer. This is teens. Okay, so now I come to their section, individual section. So now this one is Victoria. I already wrote in it. I put a picture of her up on the top. And then I wrote a, um, a prayer in there. So then I found this, the, the War Room Ending Prayer. Um, I got this off the internet and I changed the words to reflect to Victoria herself. And I stuck that in here. And then I go to Justin and here's his photo. And then I did the same thing with the room ending prayer, stuck that in there. Naomi, here's Naomi. And I did the same thing with the war room prayer. So that's the only thing I added for them so far. 
Then I have my family, and here is my parents and my sister. So I have only put their pictures in, and that's all I did. Um, and then I have my family prayers to do there. I have my friends, which I didn't put my friends in yet. Um, so that's that. And um, I wrote some things about people who hurt me um, and how to get over the things that they did. Um, so it says read uh, Psalm 139, 23. Um, ask God to change your heart about this person. Read Matthew 18. Read Matt 6, 14, 15. Be honest with God. You truly want to forgive but it will take time. Ask God for help to forgive. So I thought that was really cool. I have a lot of friends that stab me in the back. And yeah, so this would be a good idea to pray for them and to forgive them. So here I go, reaching beyond. This is like for president, enemies, um, for a nation, religion, public schools, like all different things here. And then I put in here requesting prayers so i have i belong to a lot of facebook groups and a lot of times they say can you pray for me i figured i could write their name on here and add it into my prayer book uh this way i don't forget i'll put it on a little post-it and i'll i'll um pray for them so and once the prayer is answered then i move the sticky note to the answer section so other prayers it says Put the name, the date, and the request on here. And then once it's answered, you move the sticky note somewhere else. So I have sticky notes next to my phone, my computer. I could write their name and add it to my book later. And then once the prayer is answered, I can move it to the end of the book. So I had one friend that her boyfriend had COVID-19 and he's uh, been sick for this whole time. And I've been praying for him. And he is on the men, so he's on his 14 days be uh, on the men now. So God has answered his prayers, uh, so I'm glad about that. So the next section is scripture. And this is where I put my Bible study and my scripture in here. So scripture here. This I got from Victoria. It's a 2020 Bible reading chart. I haven't started it yet, but she mailed it to me in the mail. Victoria is the one who guided me into Bible journaling. So I'm very happy that she um, talked me into it and tried to get me to Bible journal. And it has worked wonders through this COVID-19. So I'm so uh, glad that Victoria um, told me to do this and guided me and tr and tried to get the right Bible for me and all that. So she mailed this um, to me. So yeah, I want to start reading the Bible and doing everything. So I have this chart. The next one is the GM, uh, the Good Morning Girls dot org. I got the color coding for the the Hosha book that we are study guide. This is what they do. They use the color code. This is the um, thing that I'm going to be doing with the color coding and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna move that over there. Anyway, so that's what this is. Um, and it's what colors to use, which is really cool. Then I have the scripture. There's different ways to uh, pray. And this one, um, the this the good morning girls use the soap um the soak method which is scripture observation applications and kneel which is prayers so uh, that's why i wrote this in here because that's what we're going to be doing when we study this book so yeah the next one is the new testament uh the so study bible guide and I got this on goodmorninggirls.org and I got the Old Testament. So as I read each one, you fill in the box, which is really cool. Um, and then this one is a chart that I got for practicalpages.worldpress.com. I love when they write on it where it's from because that really helps out, especially when I want to tell tell you where I got this stuff from. So anyway, I printed this stuff out, and this is 30-something days of prayer of different things, and it has a different uh, scripture for every day of the month. So I stuck that in here, which is really, really helpful. Uh, so I don't know where I'm going, but I could just go to that 
And this one is 10 Virtues of the Proverbs 31 for Women and what to, to uh, study. And then here is a chart of how, this is BibleJournalingMinistries.com. This is how to um, study. And I really like how this is set up. So I printed one out and I'm going to use this setup in my regular journal, not right in here, uh, but just do the same type of thing, which he has progress, weekly goals, observations and reflections, adjustments to make, annual goals, drawing and doodles, notes. And then each day, it's this is Sunday, today's verse, food plan. Uh, priorities and to-dos, verse doodle, uh, goal action steps, prayers and affirmations, and um, hydrate. So I, and she has it for every um, month, every day. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I thought this was really cool. And I put the tab on the top. It actually says weekly. I put a tab there. It says weekly. Okay, so that is weekly so I liked how that was set up and I will probably do my own in my journal so that's that I will just follow that in my journal okay so now I have January through December um, and I broke it up because I'm starting in April so I have nothing from January to April so these are empty, but I thought that I would put the whole year in. So January to December, and here's my April, and I have a whole bunch of April stuff. What is this? Stuck? Okay, here you go. Okay, so April, I'm working on scripture reading challenge for anxiety because of COVID. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of anxiety. Uh, so these are different scriptures that I can read and this is 23 days um, and I use this little thing and as I do it I move it down which is really cool what a great idea so yeah so that's that the next one is praying for one another and it's just different scripture and this praying for scriptures for hope and this is uh, obstinate God Logan. The next one is Obstinate God. This is a uh, study guide for April, and I got this from a sympathy of phrase praise.com. So I will put that down uh, below. The next one is this is my Hosha, um, my study guide for this. Uh, this is the, uh, the, um, tells us what to do it's the checklist so yeah i'm going to be doing that and i printed the whole thing up which i was gonna i wasn't gonna buy the book but i wound up buying the book so i'm probably gonna write in the book uh um uh, i printed this up off their website so it's the whole book type thing the next thing is uh praying through the holy week which is easter um, I printed this up from crosswalk.com. So the whole thing is here. It goes to here. And then the next one is um, I joined Carrie Danker's website and she gave me this for free, which is a journal and doodle through the Bible. This is to go through this. Um, I can't say the name. Epithesians? I don't know. <laughs> so this is the whole thing that I printed up from her website when you join her website she sends this as a free insert to study guide so that's that okay so May, June, December I don't have nothing in there then I have the miscellaneous section and in the miscellaneous section I have books so I started writing down books that I want to read um, then I have miscellaneous which is i got these bookmarks that i want to color in this i got from biblejournalingministries.com i did their um 10 days uh free tutorial um actually actually i'm on day 10 today uh how to bible journal um 
yeah so I did their course and I got this free thing that I want to color in I also got this free from them and I'm going to color this in and cut it out and use it um, I printed this on sticker paper which is really cool then from Dawn um, I got these uh, this idea from their website from there when she was telling us what she was doing I put favorite verses I don't have anything in here yet I put songs I don't have anything there what I learned um, answers so when someone when God answers my prayers I'll stick them in the answered side and then I have a blank one here then I have extra paper that I could use loosely paper that I stuck in here and then from the good morning girls dot org I got this little bookmark thing and this is going to be great when I go to do the Bible journaling for the Hosha uh, that starts on Monday um, I have this color ride and I laminated it on my laminator so it's a bookmark that I could stick in my book and this will help me uh, use the right colors so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this I hope you got some ideas I will try to link everything that I mentioned below and I will see you in another video thanks for watching bye